Hey guys, this is Alice from Sephora Young and Eglinton, Midtown Toronto. Today I'm going to show you how to achieve this everyday eye look for hooded lids. So if you're interested, just keep on watching. I've already finished my complexion and brows to start. So I'm just going to use my Rose Gold Remastered Eyeshadow Palette from Huda Beauty. I'm going to start with the color Sandalwood and I'm going to be using my brush number 27 from Sephora Collection. And I'm just going to lightly dust it all over my eyelid up to the brow bone. And I'm just going to make sure that everything is nicely blended. So I do have hooded lids with a smaller crease. To elongate my eyes, I'm just going to bring the color a little bit more toward the outer corners and extend it a bit. So next I'm going to be taking the color Coco with my brush number 38 and I'm going to mainly focus it on the outer corner as well. I'm just going to be placing it near my crease line and then I'm going to blend it a little bit more towards the center and outwards. And we want to make sure that the color is still going a little bit past the eye shape. I'm going to hold the brush at the very end to make sure that we have a very soft, even application. If you need more color, we can always layer it on. Because this is an everyday eye, I'm just going to start off very softly and we can always build more color. So I'm just going to go back into sandalwood with my brush number 11 and I'm just going to place it under my lower lash line and bring it from the outer corner to the middle of my eye just so that it doesn't look too harsh. I'm just going to be doing the same with the color Coco just to intensify it again. And I'm still focusing on the outer corners. Next, I'm going to be using my Bobbi Brown Long Wear Gel Eyeliner in the color Black Ink. And I'm going to be using my Sephora Collection brush number 22. I'm just going to start off by tight lining my eyes, which is just applying the liner in between the lashes. And this is just going to give your lashes a little bit more of a fuller look. So I like to place the brush where I want the color or the liner to be and then I just wiggle it a little bit. I'm going to extend the liner just a little bit past my eye just so that when we draw the wing it's not getting lost in the hooded section of the eyelid. I like to mark it on each eye just so that I know that it's going to be even. I'm just going to angle it past the tail of my eyebrow and then I continue to fix the liner until I have my desired look. For my next step, I'm going to be using the Sephora Collection Udawa Pro Universal Curler, which is my absolute favorite. I really love this curler because I can really get to the root without pinching my eyelids and you don't need a lot of pressure. So it really brings a lot of lift and curl and it doesn't crimp your lashes at all. I'm just going to curl it from the root to the very ends just so that it looks a little bit more dramatic. Now I'm going to be using my Buxom Lash Volumizing Mascara in the color black and really coats each hair without making it clumpy at all. I like to use a small sheet of paper just to shield my eyelids when applying mascara. This way it'll also ensure that I have each lash. I'm also going to make sure that I'm applying mascara on my lower lashes. This really defines my lashes. For the last step in my eye look, I'm going to be using the Kaja Beauty Bento Bouncy Shimmer Eyeshadow Trio in the color Orange Blossom. And I'm just going to place this on the inner corners of my eyes to create a highlighted effect. And I'm going to be using my brush number 11 to apply this. I'm going to be using the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer in Light Nude. So for this look, I'm going to be doing a smudged lip. I'm going to be pressing my lips together just so that I can apply concealer on the outline of my lips and I'm just going to blend it out with my finger. The concealer is just going to erase the outline of my lips so that it doesn't have an exact line. For my lip color, I'm going to be using the Sephora Collection Cream Lip Stain in number 25, which is Coral Sunset. This is a beautiful rusty orange color. I'm going to be applying it in the center of my lips and then going back and forth between using a cotton pad and stamping my lips together so that I can melt the color into the concealer, giving that soft blurred effect. So this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. For more videos like this, please like, comment, and subscribe. See you next time.